All right, I'm back. Uh, one of the bad side things of working in the garage, and when uh, you leave, first thing you do, what do you do? You check your fucking drawers. Why? Because I just found out. I used to have the funnels that were smaller. The black one is mine. The blue and clear, I have no idea how they came in there. The bottom drawer of my toolbox, I honestly, it's always usually for oil filters, uh, tire changes, stuff like that, uh, flat tires. I never really look at it because most of the jobs I do is engines or mufflers. <laughs> you have no idea how much I was swearing when I opened a drawer when I found these. So I honestly don't know who these belong to, but I would like to know where mine is. So I was scrounging around. My neighbor lent me this. But when my well, my, when he came back with this, what did he have? He was drinking a water bottle. So I took the water bottle, cut it in half, and that's what I'll use. Yeah, thieves. I don't think I have to go anywhere on that subject. The main reason why I like that other funnel, the short one, is because you're going to see how I pour it. I put it into those containers. Now, imagine trying to stick this into that, or stick this. Well, that's not too bad, but it, but the bottom touches the end of the reservoir. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. This is the one part I hate. And I should have put a different shirt. Thank God I don't got Parkinson's. Uh, pasta fazul. Deep breath, deep breath. Hold my sphincter. Raise my arm. Stop shaking. Woo! That's not too bad. I guess it, it worked out because with this I can see right through. So I know when to stop. Sorry, can't talk. Gotta concentrate. I went to Ford for the spark plugs and the coolant. They kind of figured what I was doing. And the parts guy told me to do this. Why? Because then, hold on. Because then I can go around and look for leaks. So I actually poured half of that in. Oh, and another thing, I found the nut. Where was it? It was still in the socket. Lucky me. So far, no leaks. The back is a bit hard to look. The heater hose. So far, so good. Let's continue. Now it looks like I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be pouring the whole thing in there.
I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do. He didn't really specify. He said until it's, you can see it. I just realized this is blocking your view. You know what? Since I'm not sure, you never said the exact amount, so I'm going to stop. Change that to here. I can see it. So I'm going to stop and put the rest in the reservoir. And that's what's left. Nice and clear. Bubbles. No rust. Except for a little spider. I had it wrapped in this. So I don't know how the spider got in there. Let's continue. That's the rest of the bottle I had. Like I said, for certain things, I always buy Ford Gold Concentrate. This is not mixed, so I pre-mixed it. I pre-mixed it before. Unfortunately, I, the places that sell distilled water are still closed because of the current situation, so I just use the garden hose. Move this out of the way. Actually, I'm going to close that. One step at a time. Don't rush. Rushing leads to mistakes. When I worked at Canadian Tire, you always get the old odd person next to you like this. I probably gonna get that. I probably gonna get that. How long is it gonna take? And you say, "Well, sir, I'm doing your brakes. If you want me to rush?" This is what I use to cut that. And if I rush sir, your brakes will be fucked. And what happens when you need to use your brakes? You go flying off. Same thing for a basic oil change. A few times we do oil changes, people come, how come it's taking so long? Why don't you just plug it right back in? Well, do you, don't you want the whole engine pan to drain as much as it can? Why? Because they think of the cost. I think if they go over a certain limit, we'll, we'll charge them more. If all you're worrying about is the price or the cost, take the bus. Uh, that red bottle, $40. I had to buy two. That's 80 bucks just for the coolant. The spark plugs, 34 a box of four. So times 34 times 2, just for the spark plugs. The new coil plugs, $80. Yeah, it adds up. Did I jump up and down like a kitten? No, because I expected that. Like I said, some parts are available cheap. The radiator, it's not for it. It's not cheap either, but it wasn't uh, over a hundred bucks like most people are asking. It was forty dollars, good price. For this, obviously, I'm not going fast. Uh, torque spec on my sheet is twenty-two pounds. Thank you. 
YouTube. Where's my zero? There's my zero. It's easy because it starts at 20. There, 20. One. Ah, crap. Ha ha ha. Be right back. Now, it's funny. Like I said before, I'm new to talking. And I don't usually like to talk. Because every time I'm walking back, back and forth to here, I can see all the text from my neighbor who lives across the street saying, who the hell are you talking to? Andrew, are you drunk? Are you doing drugs? Who are you talking to? I don't see anyone. Oh, that's one of the reasons. And of course, what happens when you talk and you don't focus on your job? You forget the extension. But then again, in a lot of videos, especially where I think I got good lighting and I got good visuals, people always say, well, how come you're not explaining things? How come you didn't talk about it? Uh, what was the, the size? What was the size socket you used? See, this is how much I don't use this. I don't really use this one. So even though this is 12 years old, it's still like new. Because I always use the, the 3 8 there we go, 22. So you see, because of the blah, 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 a simple job of five minutes, not even, turns into a job of 10 minutes. Hmm. I guess I should have needs a bit more. There we go, 22. Because the proper way to use this is in one long stroke. Like that. Not continuously going back and forth. The proper way to torque is one long shot. But that's what happens when you talk. You get distracted. So this is done. The rest is going in there, and hopefully we can start the car. But of course, what do you do when you finish? Bring it back to zero. Do I get a good stand for my elbow? And just as I do this, I'm getting sweat in my eye. You know what I just realized? That I closed the drain plug underneath. What a stupid fucking thing. Yes. The drain plug is closed. I'm already
already at the cold fill line and I still got lots of coolant left. I just realized you got to leave it open to burp, burp uh, air out. I say burp. So, clear off all the tools. Take everything away. Actually, let me stop the video as I clear it out. I don't think you want to see that. <laughs> 